Today I'm doing the jack-o'-lantern juxtaposition problem in Caddis. Every year, Plumpkin Pete comes up with a couple of different jack-o'-lantern ideas for his annual Halloween special. So he wants to come up with as many eye, nose, and mouth designs as possible, and this is the program we're going to create given n number of eye designs, t number of nose designs, and n number of mouth designs. All three values are in the range 1 to 500 inclusive. So, for example, sample input, we have three different mouth designs. Uh, or sorry, first one is eyes, second one is nose, third is mouth. Okay, so we have all these designs and the total sample output you would get by multiplying how many possibilities of each to get your total number of permutations. And you can see the same for sample input 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and 3 times 1 times 5 is 15. So the math is pretty simple, and now we just need to create a simple program to read in. Um, uh, right now I'm just, I'm not going to launch Visual Studio Code for this because I'm feeling lazy today, and I should be able to do it all just in the Caddis compiler. Okay, so we're going to start out with the line equals input parentheses, and that's going to read in all three numbers. It's all in one line. Um, and then we want to split that out using the split function of Python. So n, t, and m are going to be these signed variables. And then making integer data types, or assigning integer data types to each of those variables. And finally, we just want to print the um, the result of multiplying all three of those numbers. So it's running through 53 test cases. Looks like it's good. And next we'll go into C++. I just want to mention that I'm not doing this the only way and most definitely it's probably not the best way <clears throat> and what would the best way be usually the fewest lines of code possible or at least the simplest way possible which might not be the fewest lines of code but anyway uh, now we're going into C++ include IO stream using namespace st standard int main defining my variables, integer types, n, t, and m, reading it in with the c, n, n, t, then m, and then I want to create, I don't actually need to create a variable for the product, I can just directly insert um, the operator, the multiplication operator in between each of those without use of an intermediate variable, return zero, and let's see if this works. I feel like it's much faster this way than creating files and having to save them and, you know, run a build task in Visual Studio Code every time I want to test it. So, if possible, I'm going to start doing it just inside Caddis. And finally, I'm going to do this in Java starting out by importing the Java Utility Scanner class, which we always need to do when we're reading in user input. And then I'm going to call it the same thing as the Java class, public class jack-o'-lantern juxtaposition, followed by the main method public static void main string brackets args So what are we going to start with? Always defining or declaring the variables first, integer type nt and m, and then creating a scanner object, scanner n equals, n is what I'm calling the object, equals new scanner system.n, 
and then reading it in using the next int built-in method from the scanner class. Doing the same thing for t and for m. If you were doing a lot of numbers, I'm sure there's a more programmatic way to import them all instead of typing a line for each one. But uh, for the sake of this exercise, I'm just doing it this way. System out print line n times t times m, and then closing the scanner object. Okay, so it looks like I have some compile error, and I've got some syntax errors. I forgot my semicolons at the end of a couple lines, so let's just go back in and fix those. That is one disadvantage of coding directly in the compiler here versus um, Visual Studio Code or another environment where you have red squiggly lines or some indication that you've made a syntax error. Okay, so that worked. That was a quick little example, and then next time I'm going to be doing the greetings problem. See you in my next one.